You may have noticed the Google app has recently received a new update. This should have pushed your version up to 12.24. And this change is relatively minor, but it does add some user interface changes to the Google Assistant by adding in a new lock screen section that I'm going to show you today. So we can find that by going into our Google application then tapping on either the more button right there or your profile icon. And then going into the settings area. From here, you should see a Google assistant section that we're going to dive into so that we can go into the settings area of our Google assistant. Now, just as mentioned, we have a new section here called lock screen, which as of right now is populated in the popular settings section. However, over time, this could be knocked down to the regular section down here at the bottom. So you can also find the lock screen area right here. Now, if this is the first time you're accessing this new menu, you're going to be greeted with a new screen it gives us some information about this new lock screen section of the settings. Now this is not a feature that is new. We've had this feature before. However, it was tucked away in a different section. I believe it was tucked away under the personalization section of the settings. So now you have the ability to control the Google assistant while the phone is locked. And we can do that by just tapping yes, I'm in. And you're going to get access to these two toggles, which again were previously available in a different area of the settings, but now has its own dedicated lock screen section. So we have two toggles here. The first allows the Google Assistant to respond when the device is locked. Not only this, but you will also be allowed to get personal results like your contacts and messages by saying the hot word. If your phone or device is in an area that say you do not trust to have this type of access, you may want to disable this so that you will require that your phone be unlocked before you can get access to your personal data such as contacts and calendar events. But not only that, when this top option is enabled, we also have the ability to enable this bottom toggle, which again is similar to the top one. The top toggle is only for using the hot word to access Google Assistant. The bottom one is without saying the hot word, such as tapping an icon on the screen, but also works for the new Android 12 where you can access the Google Assistant by pressing and holding the power button. The second toggle is just for ways of accessing the personal assistant without the hot word. So that's the latest update happening to the Google application. Like I said, believe this is being rolled out widely on version 12.24. And you can download this in the Play Store right now.